Jared Poland, Fronos Photo. Dot com, and I'm about to interview a photographer who worked at the Chicago Sun-Times. We've got Al Podgorski coming on in a minute. Uh, it's pretty good to get the information directly from the source. So Al's going to be uh, kind enough to come on here and have a Skype interview and just hear what he has to say and uh, go from there. So here it is. Let's uh, get to the interview. So I'm joined now with Al Podgorski, one of the 28 photographers who worked formerly at the Chicago Sun Times. Al, how you doing? Very good. I'm, I'm, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for taking the time to join us. So why don't you run us through the day of what happened uh, that that day at the uh, newspaper? Well, the uh, night before, I had an email saying that there was a mandatory photo meeting uh, at the paper the next day. And uh, I was suspicious about that. I was wondering why they would do that. And uh, adjustment of the photo staff. And they were going to realign things and get them to work right, you know, and make it better for the paper somehow. Get, uh, more uh, communication between all the newspapers because there's – a lot of different papers that they own. And so I was running late that morning, and uh, I uh, parked my car at a parking meter. I got upstairs about eight minutes late. When I got up there, all I could see was uh, uh, a room full of people and everybody looking really sad. And then I, I saw one of my buddies. He, he was taking pictures, and I had my camera with me, and I knew something big was happening. And uh, one of the photographers told me, he says, that's it. We all lost our jobs. It's gone. You know, it's over. You know, I, and I saw some of my buddies uh, sitting at chairs and they were looking at their uh, papers, you know, saying that their jobs were gone. So at that point, I just took a few pictures and uh, and I had missed the announcement. And apparently uh, uh, they had come in and in about two minutes just basically said, you know, uh, you know, all your jobs are uh, the photo departments being eliminated. So that was it. You know, it was pretty much uh, done and over with even before I got there. It was a two minute thing. I don't know if anyone else spoke and I missed it by being, you know, eight minutes late to the thing. But uh, it was and they were handing out the envelopes and uh, and picking up people's uh, ID cards and that kind of stuff. Sure. So, How long were you uh, at the newspaper? Uh, I started at the Sun-Times in 1984 and um I worked at another newspaper, the Daily Pantograph, before that. So I've been doing pictures now since 1978. I was freelancing, so got my first job in 1981 at the Pantograph. I got hired in the Sun Times in 1984. So I've pretty much been doing it a long time, you know. So obviously, it's a it, it's pretty much your whole photographic career has been spent at the newspaper. Yeah, at, at this paper mostly, and. Uh, so, well, in in the paperwork that they gave you, did it say anything about they they still want to keep you on as freelancers? Because I've I've read some things about that. Uh, as far as I know, none of the staff could be used as a freelancer until it would go into another year. You can't you can't like lay people off and then use them during the year, and those people start collecting unemployment. So I, I don't think that's an option. Maybe in the future or something down the road. I think a full year has to lapse before it. Wow. And uh, I think what was said was that they wanted to uh, uh, change the focus to a more digital focus, which to me was kind of unusual because we had been doing uh, a lot of cell phone stuff, a lot of stuff with the iPod. We were doing videos. We were editing iMovie videos on the phone. Um, you know, we were posting photo galleries and... Uh, and they just said things were going to get a lot better. They said that sometimes it lost its focus and the direction was changed and that we would be going after contests like we did in the past because sometimes it's won a lot of awards. And, uh, you know, we have a great staff. I work with some really good people. The reporters have been really supportive. And, uh, you know, the next day we were supposed to bring our stuff in and uh, that was the hard thing was to bring in this, bring all my equipment in. And uh, I got through that day and it wasn't that bad. I, some of us went over to Billy Goats and uh, we talked a little bit and, you know, some of the news stations were filming us and it was weird to be behind the camera and uh, have people, 
you know, photographing us instead of the other way around. It was very weird. But I, it wasn't that emotional uh, at that. It was just kind of like I knew things had been bad at the paper for a long time, and, I, and you're always worried about it was like a sword hanging over your head. You're always worried that something was going to happen. You know, you've seen so many people go. I survived so many cuts from so many different people. And, uh, you know, you're always worried about it. If your card didn't work coming into the paper, you, if, your, if your email didn't work, you're always worried that you were cut, you know. And uh, survived a lot of things in my career, and I, I always lasted out. And uh, th just to have everybody laid off at once, in some ways, is easier because if it was just me solo, it would have been a lot harder. Sure. But uh, the next day, we go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, the next day, we had to bring our equipment in, and I knew that was going to be difficult. And uh, my old boss was there, and they brought a cart downstairs, and they met me at the front of the Holiday Inn entrance, and. Uh, I had spent all night like digging through all my boxes, looking for all this equipment that I had over the years, and uh, I think I, f I found mostly everything. I was missing a couple small items, and uh, and when I got there, they had kept one photographer, and uh, I got out of my car and I hugged him, and I hugged my old boss, and uh, it was kind of a very emotional. And I I started handing off my equipment and calling out the serial numbers, and then we. Uh, said a few things to each other and uh, you know and uh it was just very sad and i got in my car started heading home and that's when my eyes welled up with uh i, I started getting very emotional at that point and uh when i got back to uh, my ex's house and i i was very emotional and she said you know it's like your identity it's what you've done for so long so it's gonna it's gonna take some time and uh you know, it was just a difficult day. It was a lot harder the second day than it was the first day. But, sure. you know, now I feel like I'm moving on. I'm, I'm starting to look for, uh, you know, working on a resume. I'm starting to uh, do some things and uh, get health care for my kids and uh, do all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, it, it's gotten a lot better, you know. Sure. The, the, the two people that they kept, what, what are they going to do at the newspaper? Well, it wasn't really said what their jobs were going to be. But I assume one of them, one of them was uh, one of one of the old timers like me, and uh, he's an excellent photographer and uh, he's a very good guy. And uh, I think they're they got to keep someone from our era, you know. I mean, because he he knows everything, you know. He knows everything that uh, he. I think they're going to use him like with the reporters sending in pictures, that kind of stuff. They can use him as an editor. They'll also use him to photograph and do studio stuff. So they'll do that. And the other person they kept was a, a brand new person that uh, was very new to the staff. So uh, probably somebody that wasn't getting paid that much because a lot of it comes down to money. You talk about having to get insurance for the kids. A lot of it comes down to 28 people having to get health insurance and, and, and pay the salaries. You guys have been around a long time. And, and, and I, the, the question that comes to mind is if they asked you to be that one person to stay behind, would you have done it? It'd be very hard. I was uh, feeling for that person because I, I know it's like you, you have like survivor's guilt, you know, and, you know, and say, why me? You know, so, no, I, I'm I'd rather go out with the whole group, you know, it just be that's a lot to take on. And there's like no job. It wasn't even said what that person's going to do. You know what I mean? I mean, it's kind of a vague thing. I mean, we have a whole, you know, our staff was like a family, and, and it's still a family. And the reporters have supported us. We had a rally. Reporters are have, have backed us all the way. I mean, one reporter stuck an envelope with some money in it to, in my pocket. I mean, the 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 uh, the newspaper has really really good people in it, you know, and it's family. I mean, you've been there for like twenty eight years, and uh, and. Uh, it, it means a lot to have that kind of support. And uh, no, I wouldn't want to be left behind. I'd rather go out in a huge group, you know. Sure. Um, it, made it, it makes it a little bit easier. But it, of course, it would be hard to find any kind of work when there's 28 people thrown on the street. But, uh, you know, like, like I say, I really feel we were, we were doing the things that they were looking for. I, I mean, I personally, I mean, we, we, all of us were shooting videos, we were doing still still galleries we were doing a lot of stuff and uh, we were producing a lot of work and uh, photo has always come up with with our own story ideas in the past we've won a lot of awards um, you know we work with the reporters but we also come up with our own stuff right I, mean, I guess 
it, that's probably not even the stuff to beat yourself up over. You know, you were doing the things that they talk about. They they're going to go and try and do more of now, but it it's money. It, uh, it's got to be. It's got to be a lot of, of of the of the money. Well, that's what I figure. I mean, it has to be money related, and uh, you know, and uh, you know, I mean, newspapers are have been in trouble for a long time. I mean, Craigslist came along, and you know, uh, uh, all those ads disappeared, and there've been a lot of changes in the industry. And newspapers are trying to f- figure out what works. You know, they're throwing different things at the wall and tr- trying to see what works. And uh, photojournalism, I mean, to throw it out the window is kind of extreme. You know, I mean, I Absolutely. just think, you know, especially when there's a championship coming up, you know. And so the money's, you know, I don't know. It's not my, it's not my knowledge to know what is going on in the background. I just know that, you know, there's comfort in going out with the group. Sure. And uh, we, we, I've got, I've got, I've been able to do something that I truly love and enter into people's lives at difficult times and at good times, photograph those things. Uh, as John H. White, one of our uh, other photographers, has said, you know, it's a front row seat to history. I've gotten to see so many things, go to countries that I would have never visited, uh, photograph a lot of things, and learn about life that. Would never have happened if it wasn't for this job. So sure, no. They talk about sending out reporters to do images. How do they expect them to capture the moment? Not really being photographers. Well, you know that iPhone is great for uh, you know, like if you need a headshot or a quick video or something on it. I mean, it's it's wonderful technology. I cannot think of a better time than right now to be involved with. Uh, you know, photography. I mean, there's so many options. You can take pictures in low light. The cameras are so incredible. Um, you know, you you never, in the old days, in the film days, which I grew up in, I mean, you had to have enough light. You know, you had to process the film. Disasters happen. You know, now everything's so immediate and you can put it online and get it out there. It's a great time to be a, a, a person that records images, images and video. I mean, uh, it's no better time. I mean, you have a staff that has won a ton of awards and obviously, you know, there's something wrong if they got to let everybody go. And, um, but we all are professionals. We've all done this for a long time and we know what to do. All of us will find things that we can be creative in because that's, that's what you do in photography. You go into a situation where there is a press conference and it seems like there's nothing there, nothing's happening and you find a different angle. You see something different. And that's that's the eye, and the and having the eye for that, and, and having a heart for that, it's just something you either have or you don't. You can kind of develop it, but uh, you know, and that's a gift. That's what you know. That's a gift that you have, and and you and you you want to keep that, and you use it in other areas of your life. So, what uh, what's up next? What are you doing? Well, uh, I just went uh, riding my bike in the woods. <laughs> I, I swam at five o'clock this morning, you know, in the pool. I'm um, taking care of myself. I, I I went to the unemployment office to get some some uh, papers filed, and I'm straight. I'm going to get very organized and work on things in my life and uh, look for direction. You know, I don't know what, exactly what that is. I'm, I'm putting together a new resume. Um, I know it's not like I I just want to sit back and retire or something. I, I, I like to think that the, my best years are coming up and I, I just want to find challenges and uh, go after them, you know, and keep moving forward, basically. Sure. Life's an adventure. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. I've been very lucky to work at a great paper with great staff for, you know, 28 years. It's like can't complain and, and do something I truly love. There's nothing negative about that. You know, it's, it's just all positive. So, okay. I think that's, uh, it's good to hear. I mean, it's good to hear you're going to get back up, keep going, uh, keep creating. It's, it's, um, uh, you know, I, that's the plan. I mean, I don't know exactly what that's going to entail. I know I have a lot of time to go over my old photographs and organize things, something I've never had time to do. Uh, uh, I have a lot of uh, projects. I have two kids. I'm going to spend a lot more time with them. Uh, I'm going to get organized. I've wanted to get organized my whole life. You know, it's, it's, 
in this business, it's always been hectic and you're always rushing and you're always chasing things and you never have time to clean out the car and do all those kind of things. So I'm going to get organized. You know, that's my first step. So I'll go from there. I could spend a lot more time with people that I've wanted to get together that I haven't been able to. So, I mean, that's, that's a real plus. Just to have, have this happen in the summer is kind of a cool thing. I mean, if they did this like in the, in the thick of winter, it'd be a lot harder. Sure. So, I mean, you know, it's not what I want, but uh, life gives us things. As John White says, you know, you get lemons and you make lemonade. So you move on and, and, and make something out of it. So, you okay. know, well, I, I, I hope the paper sticks around for a long time because, you know, the writers, they have some really good talent. And, and I, I, you know, it's, it's a great thing to do for a living. I have a nephew that's going into journalism and, uh, and I, I, I would, it would, it would be very sad if, uh, you know, it just disappeared. And I, I think Chicago needs two newspapers, needs three newspapers. It needs, it needs people in journalism chasing things and uh, people who do that for a living and not just on the side. And I don't think you get that with freelancers. I think you get it with, with uh, people who are staff. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. Sure. Al, thank you very much for taking the time. I wish you uh, all the luck in the world getting out there and being creative. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. All right. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay.